Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? We're just uh, making a little progress here on the main factory. Hopefully, I can get this wall done today and we can uh, get started on. Yeah, we're down the corner. Heading off corner. We get started on main progress in here. One space off. So glad I thought he was the blueprint for the second. Alright, run concrete. That's fine. I also uh, skin the back wall, so you don't see the bottom section here where you get some massive deflating. Uh, started laying out where our belt floor, our belt pathways are going to be. I know Trash was working on the floor of this yesterday, we started to skin out. Um, I think I'm gonna cut it half lengthwise this way the building. And then you'll have a manufacturing floor each side, and then. I'm trying to have this. I'm gonna do something around here to make this a safety glass mount. Like a column's coming up in the middle still. <clears throat> it came out the way I wanted to. That's better. That one. Likewise, I did the same thing here. There we go. I tried to get with it. Um, I also saw 22 farming guy this morning. He was, um, he was messing around with this, and I want to try and incorporate this potentially into my belt wall. I'm trying to, I'm mulling over my head how I want to do it. So you have your, essentially, like, floor to floor. Keep going. And then you run your, uh, compare, you know, your floor holes. Then you have to compare to the next floor. Compare to the next floor. So on. Then you have these pillars like this. And you can paint these beams, whatever. You know, maybe paint it white for aluminum and copper to copper and so on. Or just leave color, or maybe stick the colors up, you know. Maybe you, maybe you do something like that. Or keep color there. And, Something like that, or maybe throw something slash color like that, or something like that. Um, and then this could just run the whole length through here. And my belt needs to get off for a floor. You just stop it at that floor. And it pokes through enough that you can. And then it just needs to let empty the rest of the way up. It's an interesting idea. I'm going to play around with the concept. Or you could even stop it like that, and then. You know, get the product here. So you pass a belt out of iron ore, process it with iron beams or iron ingots, and they can slot back in. They go up. There's, there's some possibilities for this one, potentially. I saw that, I was like, that's, that's kind of cool. Then I can see stuff going up and down out of the factory. That might, might look good, you know. Then you can see stuff moving and grooving a little more. Because that was one thing with my update 8 save. Is everything happened behind these. You have your manufacturers, your assemblers, whatever, doing their thing. But then it just went into the wall and disappeared. And unless you came into the access patch, you never saw anything. So now instead of me leaving this five wide like I was going to, maybe I leave it three wide, like I had in update 8. This becomes that. Play around with that for a second. Take out this wall here. And like so. I just need a smelting floor, but I'm gonna go seven high. And then I did a big concrete door, so I like to look at this one. I did the small metal to give a change. And then we're gonna put in our floor hole. I don't I didn't have that on my list yet. Um so let's fix that up quick. I'm gonna go that is four. I need no, no, no. Let's say I already hit the Like this. I go that far or that far. We just need those <coughs> uh, organization, those square signs. I think he was using these. Might be too many. Yeah, I like the look of that. I'm definitely gonna use that for guy. In, in the chunky factory here. All right, 
there's my coffee. Get rid of this now. I'll say there's that. I need to go grab some concrete. We are I'm out. Well, dimensionally, it's got some uploaded, but I'm essentially out. Can we continue doing that project? Absolutely, I'm basically out. So let's go grab the secret stash. This should look mighty impressive. Oh, yeah, she's gonna be seen for a long ways off. I haven't even gotten to the actual manufacturing floors yet. And damn it, Dresher makes me think about that. See super secret stash concrete over here? I mean, for annoying you. This should make some good progress on the walls. I close the melt floor in. I would like to get the melt floor done. Walls. And then, I gotta look at the manufacturing floor. Or the smelting floor. That's gonna be... That's where I'm gonna start doing the, the walls differently. It's not gonna be repeated patterns. I'm gonna try out some asymmetry. I saw Casket Man doing some things last night. That uh, I like the logo. Oh, hi. But Dresh commented on the freaking height of the, uh... Spatial powers there, the great arguments. I think I might leave them where they are for now. And I might have just got an idea on how to incorporate them. Long term into the project. Whoops. God, I love the ability to delete the entire blueprint at Blueprinting is nice. Though this sucks up the iron plate, that's for sure. All the walls on the back side of this thing. Okay, we're not missing the iron plate we need, it's fine. I come over here. I get concrete steel until the iron plate is back. I'm so high up, I don't have power anymore. I should do that. Alright, hold on a second. I don't have that sword. Hmm, I fix that chat. We need to go put dimensional storages on the iron rods. Yeah, I saw you saying that in uh, Reyes' channel there. Nice. Once I get the belt fort done and enclosed, uh, and I, I'll start actually bringing things back to the plants, I'm going to start needing more power, and I'm going to have to be starting a terrible fuel. Yesterday we got the basics down um, for the train station. Um, you can't put summer sloops into a power building, and the fuel gens are 250 apiece. Now, um, each one starts at 250. Turbo fuel burns at, uh, at 100%. Yes, it starts at 250, 100%, and burns at 7.5 a minute. It's a fully overclocked at 6.5 a piece, but that burn rate's gonna go up. And this won't adjust until you start burning it. So I don't know if its burn rate at 250 is gonna go up. I think this goes up the same. So, 18.75 a minute, I think. I don't have any of those burning, so. Yeah, they, they changed that, but it's because they increased the amount of power instead of 150, they now get 250. I thought I had put down any dimensional storage. Iron rods. Oh, I had. Apparently, I had not chat. All right, I'm back over here. Yeah, so it started out before four and a half run rate. The overclock was like thirteen point seven five or something. Eleven point two five. Using a standard turbo fuel blend, or are you using like turbo heavy fuel? Which recipe are you using for that? I still owe Farmer Marsh and Scurvy Doggos too. Hey, 
MacGyver, Master Yoda, Vito, Self Ray, Tony Clutch, Resh, Reyes, Lucifer. I did add some pens last night. I don't have the doggos yet. E Man. And we got the back. I mean, yeah, because I don't have the trains in this back corner yet. There's no power over here. There we have power now. That's what I said. See you late. Now let's see what we're just left, Iron plate ultimate in the foundry. Oh, the one, uh, the one steel and the one. Or the one iron and the one steel. Nice, Mossrog. Yeah, um, I mean, how I sucked up the plutonium fuel rod, and I still didn't have more than the first 24 fuel gens? Purple gens? I might, I might have been. No, I had 48, 48 full power plants. Each one's what? 75 watts? I think when I completed, when I, when I finished the goal, I was only producing 3,500 maybe megawatts of power. Right, one thing I don't want to have happening, and I have to wait for. I put the storage floor. Yeah. Hunting, approaching 90 pound. Nice. That's pretty impressive. Trash, the trash view. Um, that's full. I know that's full. I know that's full. Those are all full. That's full. Many of our gas filters made at some point. I don't have any more plates in here. Yeah, you should go look at the dimensional source too. At some point. I know sheets and all that stuff are.
that. You know modders are going to add a additional functionality to that. 100%. Look what they do things like Satisfactory Plus and some of these other mods. Almost done with this part, chat. Come on, concrete again. Here's what I'm going to do while we're waiting on concrete. Reinforce plates, need to go into dimensional depot. Let's go do that. We'll grab any concrete that might be sitting in the storage ahead of dimensional depot down here. The people only upload so quickly. Yes, um, dimensional storage needed to go on reinforced plates. Is that grab all the concrete back over the factory with it? Coming down as soon as I'm done. Oops, no, we don't step on that spot. Hey, there you go. Don't step on the keyboard, you. Oops, kitty. Hey, that's spaghetti factory. It still works. But we're about past that phase. on steel beams. Alright, still not 100% sure how I want to do wall essentially and then I would have possibly something here and I could do I was wrong not seven is nine I need to go to nine but I did all this but it's, it's a idea
was hoping I could try and do it like a double wide, but where you could walk in behind is a lot of like, maintenance. But there's no half wall and any door. It's gonna end like that. Or is it? This is a column, and you can still get access to behind. And if we then had, like, the painted beams, over here, and here, I can have another one of these here, and another one, oops, here, painted beam here, another painted beam here, and it was colored like so. And you had glass in there. Then we could take, like, the See the door in there. It chunks this up, and I guess you have your maintenance door here. It gives you access in behind. What? Um, perfect with tomorrow. It's Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. That's not a bad idea. I want to try another version of it over here, and then I'll see what I like best. Yeah, it's throwing me off because I've got this on the corner here. And I didn't sit this one back in as far. And then we go for a hole. One of these. One of these. That. That. The idea is going to... the power issue in just a second here.
Then step back, we have a class on the front. We have a little maintenance, you get into the belts. You gotta plug things in or unplug things or change things. And then, <clears throat> the only question is how do you get those belts out? I mean, obviously these become reserved for higher floors of the factory. Or, all right, playing with the idea in my head, the idea in my head, say we're full height 9. I can't get up that high at the moment. Um, if we're full height 9 for this section, and then we're 4, I don't even 10. No, let's go even 10. And then we can do 5 floors. 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5. No, um, the idea is we're going 9. Oops. 9. See, I'm trying to plan this all out now so that I can just start building. Nine with that. And if I do that number, if we do something like that, and then that becomes the next floor, then I'm going to have a void between manufacturing floors. That's easy enough to solve from the inside, you just plug it and make it look like an extra thick floor. We can do that. That's not a big deal. Or it's not a hard thing to do. And then I have my transitions floor to floor. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. What's going to happen is, say a belt comes out of here, onto this floor, and you want the next one going back. Let's see. Those ones I can't do. We can do these for the sake of looking through it. So the idea would be, get a belt coming out on your floor, and then belt goes back down. Or if you need two products for, for a line, you have the second product, and then you can drop down, or second product coming up here, and then that basically gives us, minus that front wall, I counted 33 from here. So 33. Oh yeah, yeah, because 33, 33, 9, and then the outer walls is the structure itself at 11, or 77. But this is going a little bit. So you have up the 33 foundations out. 264 belts. Pass up and down. Do we think that's going to be enough? That's my only problem, is that looks amazing. But I don't know if it's going to be enough belts for us. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, 264 does not seem like enough, I'm thinking back to my update 8 save, and I had had, I only had a 3 wide space, and I had so many belts. I mean, I had much less than that running up and down, but then I got to a point later on where, like, I was using, you know, making computer, or, like, circuit boards over here, and then using them down there, so they passed into the wall, went to a smart splitter that said, okay, I'm manufacturing that way, go there first, if that's full, go down to storage, and then I had a belt literally running through my crawl space, and then dumping into the production. This would prohibit that. I wouldn't be able to pass the belt down the line. Now, if I stuck with this system, I could do that, but then I see any belts that might go back and forth. So what I think I'm going to do, so I do like the look of this, I think what I'm going to do is I want to set up this system here, because this floor is going to be my smelting floor. So ore is coming, you know, belt floor, storage floor. So the smelting floor gets a lot of stuff, but then it's, it's up to the floor, through the smelters, down to the floor. You know, so up, down. It's not occupying this wall, essentially. 
This wall came into play when I started having the manufacturing floor. So, all right, I need my steel ingots. They're down here. Pass them up. And so on. This factory is going to be an increase in size over my update 8. A mega factory. Because I'm not doing the swamp build at all. All of that will be done here. And even that setup wouldn't be enough built. It just wouldn't. Because, like, I'm thinking about how much deuterium I was moving for the uranium fuel rods. And I was moving, what, 12 lines of deuterium? It's like 15,000 deuterium a minute. Quick work, sorry. And I don't know what alternate recipes they've added and tweaked and changed and number-wise what we're going to need. I don't know that stuff yet. I'm just trying to future-proof it so that I don't get to a certain point and then go, oh, now I'm screwed and I have to tear a whole bunch of shit apart. So what I'm thinking is maybe... The smelting floor aside, maybe I use this system as the dividing wall on the smelting floor. The smelting floor passes everything up and down through the floor because that's directly in and out of the belt floor. 264 should take care of everything we need in additional floors above this. But, what if... I mean, in theory... I was just saying, I was just thinking, what if I gap this a little bit? This outer set here gets pushed over just a little bit. So I can run belts through here. Now, so this would get nudged. Here, more hole goes to here. So this all this whole setup widens a little bit, and then here on the corner, where we had this, That stays where it was, that goes to there. There we go. And then we can pass things through the wall still. We still maintain our up-downs. You know, because this would be, say, coming out. Vertical hollow foundation structure. You mean, like, these foundations, but hollow? There, I mean, you can. You can dress it up a little bit. But you can take, like, you know, looks foundations, but the corners. But then you can dress the corners. And then you just make a single floor of it on a blueprinter. Whatever you're going to dress your column to look like. Whether you want a one by one or two by two or whatever you need to do. You blueprint it. And then you just stack the blueprints. Like, essentially, what I'm going to do is I'll figure out this setup, whatever I'm going to do here, and I'll make it tileable. Like, I'll figure out a single block of this, minus the floor hole. You know, it's a single height, colors, whatever I'm going to do. Glowy bits if I decide to add those. Like, say I want to add a glow in behind here or something in place of this painted beam, because you're not really going to see it as much. Maybe I put a four-meter sign on the back of these, and give it back glow. Um, well, yes, there is that. Um, there are these. So, you know, you can do this, this, that. There is that. And then you, know, you can apply whatever material you want to these. So there is that piece. All right, I like this. I like this with the extra gap. So that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with this side here with the extra little bit of space. And then clearly, like, we don't need these. I know what I'm going to do now as far as how this is going to get set up, so I will make a blueprint of it to save myself a lot of time. I know there's a lot of click and drag, click and drag, but I'm also thinking, what if we... It won't nudge back and forth. Be weird. Yeah, see, it's behind the pillar, so you don't get much light out of it. But it's either there or there. There's no... And when you lock it, 
That just goes back and forth. That doesn't let me side to side the thing. I don't know if that's really gonna even light things up, to be honest with you. Because the light's behind it, it's not very bright. That, that will get a better effect. I think I'm just gonna go with the original concept of having little buttons on it like that. Maybe not space that close together, but... I like that touch better. But I do like this setup, so we'll blueprint this and go with that. That will be the... the design. I guess let's finish filling in some of this stuff since we're sitting here on so much concrete. And then I need to address the ability to have power. From here on up. I have a plan in place for that. This. Next time we're right, we'll wait on steel beams to upload. We're going to go address the power situation. So we'll do. Getting occasional misses. Beats place some water Alright, so we're gonna need power up here anyway. I need to figure out how long to power transfer it up. I think I'm gonna do that over in this corner. This is where the high voltage comes into the building. We'll transfer it up here. Ooh. I just had an idea. I just had an idea, chat. Yes, I had an idea. That's what we're gonna do. Yep, excellent, excellent idea. That got centered on the window. The window's an odd length. Compared to this panel above it. I'm going to adjust that window as well. Because I want to adjust these voice strips anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a blueprint and change this window panel. It's going to result in me having to fix my freaking power line on the inside, but I don't care. We'll change it. I'm not too concerned. Alright, so yes, I can use the... This. There. And then if I have 
the situation. Yeah. Yeah, uh, square turbo fuel buffer for the fuel gens. Right back, there you go. How'd you manage that one, Dead Soul? Yep, yep, you're already getting late for class. Hello? How'd you manage that one, buddy? Lizard doggo transport. Oh, build the foundation, drive the truck under, just dismantle it, drop them on top. You, sir, are a fucking genius. Can you get one of them out there? You had three. Genius. I know people have tried to use trains, too. That's genius. That is genius. There you go, I'll come in with some fade drop. Five. Alright, so the idea will be run out power lines like that once we get the floor done. I need to go make a slight change to the power switching building. You don't there, Master Yoda? What a build's going fantastic, sir. Made a lot of progress. Made a ton of progress. Started laying out the um, interior train network. So our southern loops will have eight stations apiece on them. But uh, yeah, she, she's significantly taller than I was the other day when you looked at it. Are you not able to discord that's all? 
And if not, I can send it to him. He's got a satisfactory channel further down, but yeah, I got it. I got you. Yes, indeed. It is the one sound players hate the most. It's about to happen again. So that was a Muppet, and... There we Almost in line with the other one. So it's likely not gonna get me where I want to be with it. But potentially. Oh, we golden, baby. I go to that spot there. And then here into here. Here over to there. And then this one here needs to go here. Alright. Alright, so that panel there, perfect. Alright, done, alright, done. Main factory, we want to switch on. Switch is on. Now I need to do the custom swatch. And this needs to be biomass blue, biomass red, so color, swatch, bang, bang, so we can save those. Um, so that takes care of those. We don't have any clipping there. So now we need to come down this direction. Can I straighten this out? No, I think we're going to end up keeping it like this. They'll most likely clear each other as long as I can go side by side. So let's take that out, that out, and... If I go up two meters. Ooh. Go back. Hey. Scurvy with the four-pounder mark, so we got that one knocked out. Let's walk him back. All 
hopefully I'm back. Should be back online, Mr. Race. And thankfully it just fucking autosaved. Yes, thankfully it just fucking autosaved for me. Hey, hey. Give me? No! That's bullshit. Oh god damn it. <laughs> yeah, well, he does that <laughs> nice much, Rug. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Mr. Evil Ray is coming in with that raid. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Ray, did you get the picture I sent you? I know you probably didn't get the door in a minute. I sent you a picture by it from Dead Soul. Um, he found a way to get the... Doggos on tractors. Build a foundation, walk him on top, drive a tractor underneath. Delete foundation. Drops the doggo on top of the tractor. You drive him home. And he says he's had up three on there. Fuck yeah. Alright, now, back to Mr. Scurvy. It's around about here somewhere. Where is he? I don't know how far they, like, move about, you know what I mean? Anyways, he's right around here somewhere. He's hanging out right over here somewhere. Nope, not that button. Apparently my PC didn't want me to have that lizard doggo. I did just see him and I sidetracked to show Reyes that picture quick from Dead Soul. And then he disappeared. He's right in this area somewhere though. I just don't know how far they wander. I was wondering, I don't know how far they wonder. Alright, so welcome in, Raiders. We are in the midst of adjusting our power setup. No, I'm, I've got a doggo redeem. So people can redeem it. Channel points, name a doggo. I'm short too. And I was in the process of getting ready to put down my new towers for here. Wait, oh, there he is, there he is. When I'd seen a doggo. And I caught him. Like so. And I named him. Like, yay. And then as soon as I went to turn in the direction of my base, my PC went, fuck you know. And the whole thing locked up solid. So I had to hard reboot my PC just now. And in the process of coming back, I didn't have the doggo. Thankfully, it auto-saved like five seconds beforehand before I'd spotted to try and capture him. But there, now I've got scurvy again. I still owe Farmer Mark's a doggo. So I'm going to probably make a tractor in a little while and uh, do that. But my first order of business, I'm going to complete this quick, squirrel, this quick squirrel on the power situation. And after I do that, um, after I fix this, I'm gonna complete the floor that will be my smelting floor. Once the smelting floor is done, we're gonna go take a trip to see if we can't find Farmer Marks. A doggo. Uh, and I'll use the tractor for that. <laughs> Mr. 2022 Farming Guy coming in with a raid also. Double raid this morning. How are you doing? Welcome in, Raiders. Oh, no, come on, guy. Welcome in, welcome in. Come on, Scurvy. I'll pick up for you right over here. There we go. Hello to you as well, Mr. Farming Guy. Alright, welcome in, Raiders. This is my monstrosity I'm making. Yes, the pets. I was playing around with your conveyor idea. Then I started thinking, well, what if I make it a double wide with a hidden maintenance access? But then I'm like, that might not be enough belts for me, so what if I do this setup with, again, hidden maintenance access? But that's too narrow to fit a belt, so what if I adjust it like that? So then I can have a little hidden maintenance access, front row, back row, belts, moving grooving. So I was playing around with it, I'm going to make a blueprint of it and then be able to um, just move it by a blueprint. But I got sick of running out of power on this floor while I'm trying to fly around, so I started working on a power grid change. When I got distracted by another power grid change, and then distracted by the doggo. So exclamation squirrel. That's 100%. Just 100%. Just how it happens. Alright, let's
Listen, this is rail. Marks too long. Fuck. Me, you bastard. Too long, nice. I'll get you. Okay, strange sisters now. We can come over here now. Fake out. That tower. Use this one here. Why the pure trees? We don't, want, we don't want trees touching high voltage lines. Oh, no. I'm not worried about that window because I'm gonna correct that window for all eight, you know, all four corners, double set of windows for that. We gotta correct all the other little glowy bits, but I want to look at the blue and what color it's going because we might change that out before we get too much further into adding stuff inside the plant in that regard. So now we need to. Uh, you know what? You're gonna go, sure. You're gonna go, you're- these are touching. You're gonna go... You're gonna go, you're fine. There. Now we have our power lines coming off of this stuff. That's in now. That, that, that comes out. She's nice and clean, she's looking good. So we adjusted the coal. Let me switch back up, we get this done. Looking good. I might redo these and the corners because I don't like this flickering. <coughs> Sorry, chat, my wife is uh, not doing so hot. What if I did that on there? On these ones, it wouldn't bother anything. Then the only problem becomes the corner. I like that better. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not far off. Lost rock. She, she has been having her ass kicked. Left, right, side of the last few days. Organize all these here in a few. Yep. I can bet I'm And, and this is how things evolve into what they are. I just kind of step back, look at it, and go, oh, that doesn't look good. You can go ahead and shut the AC off, you're here. Alright, and then manually tearing this down.
Thank you, farming guy. Those are highly overrated. Um, some might think so, Boomer, but um, I tend to like my ability to breathe. I'm not into uh, auto fixie or disfixie or whatever shit it is. That one, it is. That one. This one. <laughs> this one. That one. That corner, I think, came in point. Like, I might have accidentally left some material back here. I did. I thought I saw it the last second. Last two right here. There it is. Much better. And that metal actually makes it look like from a distance. But it's almost still this uh, coated concrete. Because what I plan to do is from this floor up. Is I'm gonna come in one. Like this. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, or actually, I might do this here. This, 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 Oops. this. That way, I can kind of make something out of this little point perch here. Yes, yes. And then I can do. I'll figure out how to get a door or a wall here. here. Probably by use of beams, would be my guess. So, hovering at the top of that at the moment. Just up above that. Does me no good. How can I shim this just a little bit to try and get the wall to sit on this properly? I know there's a way to do it. Near centers, I think I'm gonna get it because the beam doesn't. Uh... There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> what about a beam connector on it? Hmm. What's going on, beam man? How you doing, buddy?
Oh, that's not where I want that. Before you put this down, you would then grab your beams again. Yeah, the wife isn't uh, feeling too great today. I think it's taking offense because the beam is in the way. I think it's taking offense because it's in the way. It's just a matter of layering it up however I need to do to, to get it to work. Not a big deal, I get it to work. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with proof of concept, then I'll worry about building it later. So I don't even know how high this floor is really going to be, or how high I take this part of the design. Come on, Sir Walshy. I'm just dumbing around. Yeah, I like it. Proof concept that works. I watch the watching. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that actually worked out really well. And then what I was doing was one. Two, three, four, five. Five. Four, five. Essentially, I'm going to create the entire underside of this floor so that I won't have to worry about power issues while I'm flying about up here. Like that. And then, of course, from here up, we'll start to have machines that are going to uh, carry power over this floor to floor to floor. But on this floor, we're going to run into issues. So, well, because we're so high up. Get dark out. It's running neat here, so.
I'm going to run them differently than I had originally planned. Press the concrete. Alright, I guess that's actually gonna fill in still. And then I've got to decide. There we go. Well, that's done. We still have to figure out how we're gonna do all of this. Screw that up. This was me messing around with shit, so. Get around to that eventually. Um, for now, we're definitely not gonna be doing the walls again. All right, so no more no walls again. This floor will eventually get lit up with belts. So I'm not worried about lights here. The next floor down, we'll have to space some shit out into. I shouldn't have deleted these. It's done. We're making some good progress. I'm getting something a little bit like this, but when you're doing a massive build, it does take time. Shit, off I won. You know, if you're cold, you can shut off the AC. I'll freeze my ass off too, so you can shut my AC off. I'm always freezing my ass off. Shit, miss. Just leave my alone, you're not getting hurt. That's the problem, you found a piece of bacon, now you find a piece of you. Hello there, mister. Oh, see. I have to correct that all the way around, actually, you know what, no. That's not a bad look for me here. I just did the double wall, so we don't have the... We don't see the sea fighting in here, because it's really freaking dirty. on the power of support. Oops, I almost went past where I need to go. Uh, working on setup some automation. Back to going by car. Nice. Yep, next uh, order of business after I get this done. We're almost done this. So I want to go... my window, my corners. The window's on the first floor. Before I do that, I'm sorry, I want to go adjust my windows. Yeah, all my windows. Leave it that. But that's going to include Chloe's. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
Last row. Come on, Rusty Nail. You uh, never start today, Rusty. I was gonna say, I remember you saying it was today. Now we've got height, now we got the ups, now we can get, mm-hmm, yes, 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 yes. All right, so, before we get too much further with this stuff, what we're gonna do is kind of figure out, I, I'm pretty sure I know how I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna be the other side of that little center piece there. Because this is really cool looking, and I like it. I like this better. Obviously, the glowies aren't on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a blueprint. Right, two by two. Uh, sorry, we'll do a three by three square. So essentially, I'll do this like this three by three square here. We'll set it up as a blueprint, and then I can just zip it down. So the idea—it's taking something that um, 2022 farming guy did. The idea is you have your belts kind of sit behind glass, and then you can put glowies in whatever color, however often you know change up you know, the, the colors of the beams and stuff like that, so that you cut. This kind of glassed-in look. I mean, that looks really cool. You'll see stuff going up and down. That's exactly what I wanted to do with my factory. But then, like, this might not be enough belts. So how can I adjust it to have, like, more belts? But what if I make a fake pillar with a little hidden walkway that can run me down so I can maintenance the back of the belts? You know, essentially doubling this up. I'm like, that still might not be enough belts for how big my factory's gonna be, right? So then I said, well, what if I go three wide and I can do a little thing like this and have it, you know, four sets of belts. But this is too narrow for a belt to fit on a support if it were coming off of here. So essentially what I did was I adjusted it for here to say, okay, this is what I want it to look like. Now that I know what it's going to look like, I can um, go ahead and blueprint one level of this, minus the floor holes, one level of all of these painted beams and shit. And then you can just stack them up. And then the next floor, if you need, you know, the next floor of the factory, you just stack them up. And then if the factory is two floors high or four floors high or three floors high or, you know, uh, three foundations, say, say this height of the factory is three, but the next one's five. You don't want to lock yourself in with having this already done up to a certain height. But if I blueprint it at one, I can stack two together and make it too high, I can stack three together and make it three high, that type of deal. Oh, now I know how. Now I know how tall I'm gonna make it. Alright. If I go with my normal four walls high that I was doing before, the manufacturer is essentially in the ceiling. If I do that. And then this, top of the manufacturer's in the ceiling. Likewise, the blender's touching the ceiling. <laughs> I do that. The blender now has all the space it needs. The manufacturer has all the space it needs. Then the only issue would be these guys, but these guys are on the roof. So five walls high, put the little glowy dots in the middle, and then for this first smelting floor, I can just double stack it. And go to ten high. <laughs> so we want to go three by three. Alright, this is going to be... If I go... If I have this on the edge, then it's not going to... No, no, I'm going to do it. Alright, so we're going to go... 3 by 3. Crap, I'm already in the wrong spot. Already did it wrong, chat. Basically, what I'm trying to do. Oh, 
Everything's fine. Everything's good. All right. All right. Let's take a quick second, and we gotta fix my blueprints. We need a category. We go. Damn it. Power icon. We want power. Select. Why? Add a category. This is going to be infrastructure. Building. Yeah, supply. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. Building supply. Add a category. This will be transport. Select an icon. We're gonna go with the vehicle explorer. Supply. Add a category. Trains. Supply. And then add a category. Manufacturing. How do you get them from one category to another? Crap, this is the part I don't remember. Okay, fine, that's not how you do that. How do you move things around categories again? I thought you just dragged and dropped. That's not it. Um. Yeah, it doesn't let you click and drag, the minute you click it. It'll let you add to the do list and stuff like that. Hold on a second, my phone's buzzing. There was a way, and I mean, yes, you can when you go to configure it, um, set where it's going. So, like, if I want to go here, I can do this and then save it here type of deal. Um, but there was a way to drag and drop from the undefined into other areas. But you have to come in here, you've got to be in the edit menu, and then you're supposed to be able to, like, take this one and this one and this one, and then do this. No, it, nothing moves around. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it should be moving back and forth, but it's not wanting to. No, the cogwheel just lets you like remove the blueprint or change the description, things like that. Um, but not um, like do this. The thing is, is when I'm in here, it's supposed to just drag and drop and not change. No, 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 no. Trust me. I, I you guys could be onto something. I have no idea. I'm just letting you know um what I've seen. But like it should just be drag it over there and drop it. But what's happening is like the minute I mouse over it. It changes, and then we. Oh crap! Oh lovely! Oh, pretty fantastic! Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no kidding. Right, let's see if we do this. Because this is already in subcategory. What if we do this? That's what I was missing. <laughs> do do do.
all my all my train shit is gonna be not really working, but. Go. Go. Alright, All right, there's Mr. 22 for me, guy. You take care. Get some rest. We'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for the idea on the, uh, on that. Looking forward to implementing this. I'm not really gonna worry about this set, I will. Uh, I'm telling you, always something with kids. Kinda feel bad for my, for my youngest. He had no issues over the weekend with tooth pain. Only now did it start to actually bother him. And, of course, you know, the nurse contacted us, like, yeah, well, he split his tooth over the weekend, but his lower molars split in half. It wasn't bothering him, so we didn't think anything, you know, of course, this weekend, so you can't get into the vet, or the, the vet, listen to me, the fucking, uh, dentist. There's nothing really you can do about it. Um, you know, so my wife just called the dentist, She's like, hey, we need to get our kid into, you know, emergency, he's in emergency, he's in emergency. And, uh, the dentist had a sprinkler malfunction in her shutdown until October. And the guy that they normally have been sending all their people to, um, is currently in Florida, because he just buried his father. So even that guy's not available right now. That's <laughs> like, uh, we'll get back to you guys. <laughs> It's a little more blue. It's still emissive. Uh, the well, we don't know if it's a baby tooth or not. And that's why I was just messing with Cope. Um, but yeah, for the most part, they will work, with the exception of like my train blueprints, because the materials that the train blueprints are made out of don't exist because they're mods. At least the sun's setting in a minute. We'll take a look. We'll find out which color we like. As soon as the sun sets, we'll be able to see. Well, like I said, go. 90% of the blueprints work just fine. The only ones that don't are the train pieces. Because those are the only ones I really used uh, mods in. Beyond that, like, you know, my, my foundries, all this stuff will work just fine. And then as far as the mods go, it's when the mods get updated, and then if those, or sorry, when the mods get put back out so we can use them, and then it comes down to if those particular mods actually get updated. It's an unknown at this point. Let me, or not, fog. Usually kills the light a little bit more. No, let's go ahead and do this. I gotta test the gold colors and it's not helping. Fuck it. We gotta make a box. I'm afraid of the dark, are you? Get out of the light. There we go, damn it. Now we can see. What's going on there, Mr. Torog? How are you doing, sir? All right. I had to check colors. I kind of like this one. Um. That's a good question. I came through this morning. Morning, Get really dark.
Morning, Stumpy. It's not up, it's not overriding it. It wasn't overriding, it was just adding another one. Just over bad cough, lasted two weeks for you, I hope it makes sense for my wife. But she is uh, fighting through something right now herself. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of the box. Doing alright this morning, Tech. How about yourself? <coughs> Just woke up. Right on. So we're gonna call this um built pillars. Hello. Hello. How's the pillars? Going good so far. Yeah. Oh, I'm checking things. <laughs> I gotta let's wake up to a message. Looks like I'm moving before then. Oh, got moved up. My brother wants to go to Bluegrass Festival on that weekend. Uh huh. Well, he said any time before then would be great. I'm like, yeah. Sure. But I'll probably be next week, midweek sometime. Oh, there you go. How's that for moving things up? But today, I gotta think. All right, so let's quickly clear this apart. We can test before I move everything that's there. Poor wife, she came down with something that is a kick in her ass. Yeah, I'm moving to the next deck. Just haven't decided when. I think I'm gonna have to rearrange some appointments and stuff. Like the job collection and stuff. Done. And in this instance, I need to remove this, this, and. How are you doing, Mr. Alpaca? Is there a way to import? Yes! There absolutely is. Um. We just second, I'll show you how to do that. Basically, you gotta find your old save and then you just import it in. Let's see. Oh, no, no, that's right, because I did the. It's the first one I did the corner. And we paint that. Otherwise, it ends up in that corner like that. So we just have to adjust this one here. That thing like that. And we've got our room here. We've got our room there. We added the compare floors, stuff like that, belt floors. Good for it. Go. Alright, let's uh, save the game here. And what you gotta be looking for is your factory game folder. Should be users at that local factory game. You want your saved? Your saved games, and then you'll have blueprints. Once you unlock the blueprinter, make a quick blueprint, and it'll create a folder for your save. And then you can take all your blueprints, like me in my case, my update blueprints, copy them all into my new folder, my new save game name. And I now have access to all my blueprints. The only thing is, it will not remember categories. So everything ends up in one big pile. All I have to do is add the class in the odd number. Alright, oh, come on. You know that.
Mr. Knight. But for an internet issue or for a computer issue, I've already redeemed those today, so we're going to uh, fund that. No, the, the kitties have way issues as it is. So you, uh, you all went out for a weekend, Dave? Yep, that's why I decided to uh, just relax today. <laughs> and I have to give my brother the exact time I have to think about it. <laughs> he said any time after Friday. No, but the time, yeah. What, any time after this Friday? After this Friday. He said he do any time after this Friday. But I have work to do with him to keep this morning. He said he do a lot of it, so... Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna have to uh, figure that out. Alright, time to go to the steel depot, I think. This is running out of freaking steel and concrete every five seconds. It pisses me off. Get a little old, you know what I'm saying? I'll get across this factory one way or another. Kind of feel like Dave running across his. I've never built factories to the same scale as Dave. I've gone crazy with the amount of stuff in it and going which way and all that, but like single factories I've never built quite as big as Dave with his giant desert base. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's technically just a big platform with lots of factories though. Well, yeah, but I mean that big of a single platform. Yeah. My update 8 factory was the biggest factory I've ever done, but you can still cross it in a fairly quick amount of time. Mm -hmm. This this is a different scale. So the dimensional depot, how to make and use it, once you make it, or I should say, uh, once you unlock it, you'll need to find the same ore vein. Then from, the, from there you'll, you'll run the same ore into a constructor. From the constructor you'll be able to send it into a... Uh, you'll turn it in from SAM into reanimated SAM. Early on until you can get to a manufacturer, you'll then need to pick up that reanimated SAM, copper wire, and steel pipe, and turn it into the same fluctuators. You need to make SAM fluctuators in uh, the crafting bench early on. And then it's 10 SAM fluctuators, 10 metal frames, 100 copper wire, and one mercer sphere per depot. Per depot. Once you place the depot down, the first one, and you've unlocked... Um, actually, I gotta... Uh, what is it? Oh, no. Um... You have your tree down here. This one here, the center one, will allow you to then manually upload to your depot from your inventory. So you can just drag and drop it down here. Otherwise, the only way to upload is by belting into the dimensional uploader. And it will take one part, one stack, of that part initially. And then you can upgrade on that side. Two stacks, three stacks. Or sorry, this makes two, three, four, five stacks. And then the other side of this little tree down here, it starts at 30, what is it? Like, a couple parts a minute. The 30, 60, 120, 240 parts a minute. So mark three belts is all you really need to go from storage to dimensional depot. But you will upload these from here into the dimensional storage anytime it's used. So if I, pull, if I pull one out of the cloud, pull a stack of that out of the cloud, it will slowly upload back to the cloud from here. We just built it for storage. Does that answer your question, Cope? The Mercer Sphere is going to be your trickiest part. Yes, you can, without needing a belt, you can drag and drop a stack of material to here, and then that stack will upload to the storage of the cloud. Just take a little damage to that. Um, when you first unlock the thing, it's very, very slow, Cope. 15 parts a minute, maybe? I think it is 15, because it doubles every time you um, unlock uh, a speed upgrade. So the first speed upgrade is, goes to 30 parts per minute, which isn't very quick. Even 240 isn't very quick. I've got storages of stuff that take forever to upload. I'm building faster than they are. So from, from huge projects, you're still going to need to grab materials. <clears throat> but that allows you to kind of change things up. One stack of whatever item. You can have a single stack of every item in the game, initially. Oh, wait, no. <coughs> yeah, I didn't, uh... Oh, that? That's the old build. This is going to be the new hotness over here. Well, Galvel, you only ever need to go to one sink. All the sinks are interconnected. So, like, I could put a sink down here, and as soon as I put power to it... I have 62 coupons in here. Clearly, there's nothing going in here. So you only need to go to one sink. You don't have to worry about going to every individual sink with their coupons. That would be a bitch. But that would be, quote, unfair. Thanks for hydrate. I do always stretch to somebody. I'm going I do gotta use the restroom as well, so I'm gonna get up stretch. We'll use the restroom, we'll be back here to
you do you crash? Oh no, um, my whole computer crashed. You may have to just um. You may have to reset it. That's all. Oh, just did it again. Didn't it? Oh, but don't bring a heart with me now then. Sucks to be him, I guess. What bug is that little demon? The cyber truck isn't really meant to be used, little demon. I, I hate to say it was never meant to be used. The thing's got square wheels crying out loud. Intentionally. Alright, where were we with the fair wall holes? I'm gonna wait a quick break in here, I don't remember. Spicy bacon again? I don't want to do spicy foods. They don't agree with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't do cayenne pepper. And I'm, I'm a, not a crunchy baking kind of person either. I like it just a tad on the chewy side. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how do we want to... That one, that one, that. Oh, excuse me. This is taking three, four times, please. Part of this take me place. I did. In here. But this is the space between the blueprints. If you add them ahead of time, then they overlap each other and you end up doubling them up. See, this is the blueprint here. And then what I'm doing is manually filling in between them. Work stuff. Nice. That's always fun. And uh, now I'm dealing with a child who somehow managed to split one of his molars in half over the weekend. And then, so this is going to be the smelting floor, the manufacturing floor. Don't know how it happened. He just randomly had just just break it. We we're, were lost.
Yeah. I said, no, no idea how he did it. There's none that he's giving us an explanation on. Knowing him, he was doing something stupid. That's how the tooth broke. But trying to get that out of a 12 year old is like, well, point teeth. Alright, uh, real quick, I want concrete. Alright, go right ahead there, Vito. What's the question? Belt floor in your factory. First floor is like smelter tier one. Okay. About getting things. That's kind of how I have my factory set up, Vito, is so that I can transport everything through these corridors. And then you just kind of plug and play from there. So all of my belts are going to come from my storage floor, slash belt floor, because for me, storage floor is here, belt floor is here, factory starts here. So obviously, belt floor is just poke it up, do what you do. Storage floor can be whatever, belt floor, you just poke it straight up into wherever you got to smelt, put it back down. First floor starts my manufacturing. When I get there, it's going to be bring stuff from here, up, through these columns, into this next floor. And then I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to keep this same look beyond this floor. I think I'm going to go back to my traditional uh, approach, which is going to be, uh, just a regular wall around all of this, because I'll have just a regular wall here. Yep, my internet's going to fucking shit. Fucking fantastic. Now I know why YouTube's having issues. Let me see something for chat. Nope. I have to reboot my internet. Need to take that out, but we're gonna. Let's really do that first. There we go, and then we can turn the colorizer, set that. That. Oh, 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 I did fuck up. This is gonna be a nightmare chat. I fucked up. By the time I'm done, you won't see it. That one, I'm gonna correct this section because I've already started on it. The end is fixed now. That's fixed now. This is all fixed. This is good. That's all good. Look good through here. Good through there. Okay. Open. 
see when I'm done, you're not gonna see any of the Z fighting. It's your unlock yet? No. I haven't produced any of that part stuff yet. I'm waiting to get my factory producing stuff. Yeah, yeah, I hear. I haven't unlocked it. Started doing 78. I'm still working on five. Well, six is almost done. I guess I've been making complete, but I have not started making a single phase work. I don't intend to until I get this factory working. You know, there's something else in there. Did you hear about it? Do you want to know what it is? They didn't what? tell us. I'm sure there's lots of details. The MK3 blueprint maker. Hmm. I don't know the size. Nobody's built it, but it shows up in the size factory factory maker. Probably six by six. Only question I have. Uh, not yet. Alright, perfect. Now the really annoying part. Fixing all of these ones. Because my blueprint was complete. It should just be a matter of going down the line, correcting the... I, cor I corrected, I, I built an entire nuclear setup, processed enough uranium waste to make and sink a rod, so I can keep going with everything else, yep. It was over there, and I tore it all back down because now I'm actually starting to, from here on, produce everything by the rest of the rules, which were, uh... You know, gotta have complete factories... Uh, the grinding animals, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm... Did I do this already? No, I did not. I mean, I mean, what other people would consider endgame? Because I don't have a lot of stuff left to go. You know, I got the tier 4 parts, and I got the tier 5 parts. Parts, so wait. Only just got basic setup. Yeah, see, I'm working hard to build up my factory right now. As far as my, you know, the structure goes. But before I can do too much more, I need to go build an oil setup over there. I don't have power. I don't, well, I have power. I just don't have a ton of extra power. Certainly not to support this place. If I go crazy with that, I should, should go ahead and put all of these things in. My pants are looking a little, little green. I need to go a little outside of the laundry. Uh, fire logs and coal, coal and oil, oil and nuclear. Yeah, that's how I have mine set up. I've got um, biomass burners, enough that will fire my coal plant. Coal plant will fire the oil plant once I get it running. And then the oil plant will be able to fire the nuclear plant. All the while, my main power is shut off. My main base is shut off. And one of the things I just did, which I took from an idea I had earlier, but dawned on me to do it now, is you see I've got two... Give me a second. Sorry. Alright. Let's see what's going on. I've got two... High voltage lines. 
stop using altogether now. While my bit rate's being trash. The unfortunate map mess with this vlog later and upgrade it. Um <clears throat> Like that. Okay. All right. So I have two high voltage lines coming from my this is my power switching slash biomass setup. There's my coal. I have two high voltage lines coming in here. One is for the factory floor, you know, the actual factory. The other high voltage line goes just to my train network. This way, what I can do is once my um, once I start to boot things up, I can turn my trains on before I turn on the main factory. And then coal will run direct into here. The oil power feed will run direct into here, and so on. So like oil power will run direct into here. Coal will run direct into here. This will have a battery backup set up off of it as well. That'll come later. Um, and then everything that's going to feed the nuclear and start it will be off of a line. And then the factory itself will be off, some, off of a separate grid. And then the train systems will run my little satellite pickup points. Because everything's going to get brought back here and then manufactured here. With the exception of the aluminum that I've got over here. And even that, I might decide instead to have all the bauxite collected right over here, a little train depot, and then brought back in on its own train network. Actually, because those are within my catch basin, those likely will end up... Um, uh, there we go. Because of my rule that everything that's currently showing within these two radar towers will be belted back on, on belt highways, those may collect together and just run on a belt highway straight here. And the, the current belt that's there from that aluminum node might um I might change how that's run now that I have the ability to uh unlock stuff or now that I have the ability to use the like catwalks and stuff I may rerun that belt so I can actually curve it to take this big elbow out and I'll curve across to here, to here and then it'll have supports oh the um this one here I've seen somebody do the uh was it constant conrad did a giant battery shaped battery there in one playthrough and he had so many screens in it that um, it wouldn't load anymore They, uh, they fixed that, uh, back in update 8, I want to say, Galbelt. Now trains, if they collide with the terrain and stuff like that, will derail. Come on, KW. How you doing today? Well, that's good to know. There's a couple places I ran that the tops would go in the tunnels. Yeah, as far as I know now, if it does that, it will crash the train. I know in the past I've seen people do, um, like underwater train hubs and stuff like that, but... I don't think you can go into the map anymore. They made it quite uh, inhospitable as well. Wait, I can still do this, right? I'm gonna have to look at the turbo fuel recipes inside. What turbo fuel recipe I'm gonna use? Oh, wait, stop, stop, let's look at that. I have them all. We gotta go turbo heavy. We want as efficient as possible from oil to turbo fuel. So we get as much turbo fuel as possible out of it. And this is the one I was using before the turbo blend fuel. And then using the heavy oil residue to get as much heavy oil as possible. This is the turbo heavy fuel, which is, let's see. I don't know if satisfactory calculators updated all the re recipes. Uh, yeah, turbo blend I think is a better option. Because this here is three oil into four heavy oil. So, it's... Yeah, because you're gaining 33% there. 
and five to that. This one here goes four to six, but you also need this, which you do the diluted fuel to run it. So you take some heavy oil to do the diluted fuel, and then it makes the turbo blend. And then you're not having to make compacted coal, you just ship sulfur and coal down. Oh, no, that's coke, which you make from some of the heavy oil residue. So then you're just shipping sulfur down straight. I wonder if the satisfactory tool website's actually updated. Uh. Yep, looks like it is. Uh, bookmarks. So we want to... Oil. Alright, what we need to do is check that. Yep, they're using turbo blend. Still. Uh doesn't need to pull it all in the water, yeah, it's got side process. Yeah, that's why I did update. I just wanted to make sure, um Now the question is how much Oh shit. <laughs> Interesting. This is what I'm looking at, hold on, let me um I got a bunch of these to go. Let me go in here and go. Oh, yeah, wait, still beans to craft now. So I'm looking at it well. So I told it. Satisfactory 1.0 calculator. I limited it to 2700 because that's what we get on the wet on the Gold Coast. You have to make sure you uncheck reanimated SAM. Because in tier 9, it lets you take SAM and turn it into whatever product you want. You uncheck that, and then I just told it maximize the turbo fuel. So it actually said crude into heavy, the polymer resin, water into diluted package fuel, and then it lets me to unpackage the fuel to go into compacted coal. So basically, it wants me to make diluted fuel with compacted coal and turn it into turbo fuel in that way. That's a lot of sulfur and coal, though. <laughs> but that would be a monstrous amount of turbo fuel. So let's go through here. I'm going to go turbo fuel. Let's uncheck the regular turbo fuel recipe and see what it does with the production. Now it says turbo blend. We'll need 90 refineries to turn it into heavy oil residue. We'll still have 1,800 polymer to deal with. Then we need 1,800 sulfur to make this happen. This now is using the blender recipe because the other recipe actually gets you more turbo fuel per minute because you're diluting, uh, you're going to the diluted fuel into the other recipe. So when you look at it, this recipe up here nets you more than this recipe will because you can go into the fuel chain and use the diluted fuel to essentially double up your heavy oil residue. Because this one down here is using some diluted fuel and some heavy oil residue to make it work. The diluted fuel is done in a blender with heavy oil residue water. It's done in a blender, but it's done in um, just diluted fuel that way. Yeah, it, it's showing to do the diluted fuel in a blender. But if you, if you knock out that other recipe, you only get 3600 turbo fuel a minute. If you use the standard turbo fuel recipe and do diluted fuel first, you'll end up with 6,000 turbo fuel in it, so 3,600. But it needs an astronomical amount of sulfur. This still requires a lot of sulfur, but not as much as the other way. So I need to come up with, with 1,800 sulfur a minute to do this. Oh, no, no, I'm going to be using steel, absolutely. Um, it just means I don't have to make compacted coal to make the turbo fuel. I'll do it with the blender recipe. It's just going to take an awful long time to get it all set up. And I need to figure out where I'm going to get 1,800 sulfur. Yep, I don't have, uh, you don't have patience for this kind of optimizing your games? Yeah, most people don't. And you don't, I mean, unless you have goals to do that kind of thing, you absolutely do not need to. I mean, hell, I could stick with spaghetti mess over there and start working on the phase four parts now, and I could probably manage without really going much beyond this area and making spaghetti mess in places to accomplish the entirety of the game without ever leaving the safety of my little corner over here. But, I has rules. Well, like challenges. It's, it's called Z-Fighting, it's multiple items in the same spot. So these all occupy the same exact height with one another, and it keeps flickering as to what it's going to show. So the way to combat that is I'm going to have the roof of this floor be one meter higher, and then this will start my production floor here. And then there's no flickering that you see. It depends on how you're choosing to build, Goat. Uh, you, you use iron ingots and a lot of stuff. That's the thing, the iron ingots goes in a lot of stuff. He's, you think your marathon was bad, Dave? Mr. Spitz? Yeah. Has been doing an uncapped marathon, he's on day seven. He started this mm -hmm. morning with 200 hours on the clock. He's now yeah. shooting for eight hours, and has 205 hours on the clock. Yeah, good for him, not me. <laughs> oh, that, that's a lot. I mean, realistically, if I sat back and think, thought about it, I could probably do one of those marathons anyway because of the way he's running it. Essentially, every day until that clock is done, 
he's going to stream until he either burns out or the clock runs down. And I believe they can't add to the clock after September ends. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to keep going as long as he can, streaming basically all day long. And, and the only things that's going to stop his streak will be either he burns out, family emergency, you know, something of that nature. Makes sense. Some cases just a touch behind. Some cases a touch in front. Huh. Yeah, there are some things that definitely make ingot production and stuff like that much better in 1.0. Some of the alternate recipes are fantastic. Yeah, well, in his case, uh, Dunley, he's, he's a full-time streamer. I'm, I guess you could call me a full-time streamer because I can't leave the house, can't find remote work in my area that meets my physical requirements. So I, I'm forced to be a full-time streamer. Oh, wait a second. Hey, Dunley, before you go leave me off my fucking building. <laughs> Here, let me leave completely off of my building. I hope I don't hit the ground too hard. Not dumb. Maybe work on my beam production. I need to fill up 1,800 sulfur. There's a normal node over there. That'll give me a 600. Where else am I seeing sulfur? Yeah, there aren't any tech jobs in my area that I can find. Uh, there are some, like, customer service type roles around here, but most of them require you to be in person. Yeah, they're PC type work or whatever, but they're in person, uh, only. Alright, hold on a second, let's see. 90 per minute of those. 90 per minute there. Yeah, see, my wife's got a remote job. She's five feet away. She actually was in person only with her job until COVID hit. And then they made her position remote, but now she's required to go back into office one day a week, or about one day a month. But her job is now, it's going to be like a 45-minute drive area to work. She has to, instead of going to Auburn, go to Portland, which is a much worse commute. Um, in my case, I was in the construction field before when COVID hit, and at the tail end of 2020 is when my back went. I just couldn't do it anymore. I've got all the way. 105, Oh, I'm sure it gets even more interesting now if you throw uh, summer slip in the mix. Production value now. Around about 60 a minute at least. Still knows, I guess. Alright. We should have delayed the download. <coughs> I wonder if it would. If, yeah, it would double the output on the turbo fuel, wouldn't it? Problem is, you don't have enough summer sloops to accomplish that amount of machines. Yeah, that would be a possible way to play through until summer sloops unlock. Mm, yeah, you can manage that. That's one that would be worthwhile, at least at this stage. Yeah, that could be an interesting, uh... Interesting playthrough. Let's just see if I can get those last couple stuck up there. And then I want to fix my windows on the first floor, as well as the colors for all my corner pieces. That's the wrong blue now. I'm using a different blue. Thankfully, that's just a matter of copying settings once and just flying around the basin. Redoing it all. 
See, I never played Factorio enough to know, you know any of those rules or anything like that. Now we'll start from this corner, we'll fire away around, and we'll go down and fix the windows. Super structures, grand, double shards, slugs. Refinery, sir. Uh, yes, normal slugs are galvanized, but now um, you can make some tech slugs later on. Fix it uploaded more um, maximum exploitation. What I should have done is just updated the blueprint for this. There's nothing to do. <clears throat> and then just erase and replace each of these. I will be making a blueprint for the window piece downstairs that I'm going to do just because it's so many of these things. And they can be a pain in the ass to place. Actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor wife, and hacking up the lung. Yeah, once you get the dimensional storages, it does make, uh, Bootstrap builds so much easier to do. Because you can just take materials anywhere, jam them into a dimensional storage, and be able to just yank them out for other yep. productions. I have all my factories running into a dimensional storage for each product. I've got, I've got yeah. most everything right now into the Eventually, everything will. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm still going to have a central storage for the sake of if I want to go on a big build project or something like that. The dimensional storage can't keep up with our ability to place things sometimes. You know, so well, I should use blueprints. Kind of concrete, can't, but... it, well, no, it can't. But I might. Yeah. Eventually, I may just have double dimensional storages with concrete, or maybe triple. Yeah, and, then, and then, you know, it's at 480 or 720 parts a minute. It's going to keep up with our ability to place it. Eventually. When I need product, I just switch jobs. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's a lot of what I've been doing too. But I can't put floor down to the metal concrete to go back to doing building a factory or putting belts down or something else, like different products. Yep, yeah. Same here. I have a severe problem with the freaking wall, uh, floor holes again for liquid. Oh, stopping oh, things from moving? Stop, stopping things, yeah. Getting them to work and go through the floor, the pipe to work through the floor. I, I have not used them yet. I got. I had to take out a couple of floor holes and just take out the, the foundation to get it through. Yeah. I haven't had to use floor holes yet um, for product mm -hmm. as far as water goes because my coal plant, I didn't do. Yeah, and the wet concrete comes up pretty high. It's not on the main platform on this guy, so that's what I'm Issues with? Yep, I can, I can believe it. I just went to upgrade the pipes over there to the MK2, and they all stopped freaking working. Oh, I have had that happen. I have had that happen. When you, when you remove, uh, or when you upgrade one pipe to another, I have had that break. Connections. But then I hook back up the same pipe portals, and I can't get it work. So I have to the whole thing down and do it over again. It's painful. Here, we need to update this color here. And then here. There. It's, it's less greenish, it's more of a blue color. I like that better. I didn't do anything in these little ports. There. There. There, there. crap, I took out those windows entirely. I mean, you should put behind. This. Is it just not getting up to the height? Or are you having actual like it, it was getting up to the height and it just cut out. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Uh so, so, is that part of the same makes any Yeah, um yes I believe so. Yo, felt. Let's try that. 
Alright, it's glowing again, it looks like. <coughs> Replace the whole piece all the way up by going up and put the new um, lifts on it. In this case, I don't think he's got any foundations in the way, he's just straight through. Play out the portal, a foundation with the portal on it. That's where it gets stuck the portal. Just click and go through the foundation. One thing you could do to stop that from happening if you still want to look at the portal, Dave, run the pipe straight through, mm -hmm. and then place the floor hole down and nudge it over the actual pipe so it looks like it's there, but isn't there. Alright, he's back up and running, that's a plus. Let's make sure they're both running. Just gotta go down and replace everything, see what stays running this time. The funny thing is, I get it running, it fills up with 50, you know, 50 water. And it works, and I walk away, I come back and sitting with empty. Hello. What's housekeeping? Like so? Settings for billboards, and each billboard size remembers its own distinct size. Alright, we're here. We get to there, and I gotta fix that center window. Don't let me forget, Jeff. Fix that center window over there. It matches the north facing windows. Sulfur goes. I need 1800. Only one node in the northern forest now. Shit. Come here. So if I grab that node as well, it's only an impure node now, so that's only gonna be 300. I guess we halfway there. That'll get me halfway there. I think we're gonna end up having a. Uh, all right, that should be everything except for those over there. Uh, I think. I think I have to go to northern. Where to the grassy hills? Right. Uh huh. platform for the <laughs> At a minimum it's seven wide so we're gonna go nine Three. 
two, three, four. I need it seven. We might be able to center it. Let's see if that's where we end up. One, two, three, four. We're gonna only be seven and a quarter wide, so it's not enough. Four misses, alright, how you doing? We're almost bang on eight. Maybe I do go the full. Smidge out in that direction. Hmm. Tired quick last night after it can happen. That's not a problem, we can correct for that, so we'll essentially be at a. What, yeah? We got one. Two. Three. Four. That's just ten wide, I don't want to do that, no. Stick with that. What I can do is I can just correct. Smidge off because of this corner here. It's just a touch into that. That's what it is. It'll be just a hair off. I can I can manage with what we've got. I wish we had a full, like, rounded corner. You got those. How would I transition? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Like, I'd like... I've got this, like, rounded look through all of that. I would like to try and get this rounded out. You know what I mean? So I could start, from like here, rounding it out. I put that there. I could start from here, rounding this a bit. How would that look?
I need to be just a little bit longer, a little bit wider than I am. Wait a second. Basically, I would need to run. If I had foundation. That's bloody not bad. back here. Pillar here. One over here. Like five pillars. And then one over here. So six total pillars. Put one here, one there, one over here. And then maybe like four corner of this. So you actually have four, five, six, seven pillars. Do like a rounded pillar look. That's not bad. I mean, you're not really going to get that much closer, I don't think. And that's only because of this right here. That probably would have counted for that last little bit that I had to mess Here, we'll do, some, we'll do some circular sports. Maybe like one here where this connection is. Maybe one here. Maybe one each end of that. And then do one mid here, here. A couple of those. Qualification questionnaire. Jury duty? No, 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 I'm not being summoned at this time, but I need to provide additional information to determine my qualification as a juror. I might, I might be getting selected for secretary duty, chat. The fact I can't drive fucking keep me out of jury duty. <laughs>
We'll go right there with it. I might, once I'm done, do the outside right edge too. But, let's see. Yeah. Foundations, we're gonna do the roundy-roundy deals. Oh, it's like half pipe percent. That one. I got all excited. I saw something in the freaking court. I was like, oh, great. This might be. Whoops. Might be in regards to my spill or something. Might be fantastic news. Find edit. I've got, I don't know, like four out of the garage. No, well, if, if it's really that important, you can drop a place you ask if I can talk to me about it. Still have that in the garage somewhere? Might. Well, it's 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 Now with building. That's there. So if I do that number like that. I'll do it with your age. Get that work. Let's change our texture. Okay. That's the problem. We don't have that's that's frustrating. We have this outer corner extension. But it doesn't match this curve. And this is one of the one of the reasons why I used to run that mod. Alright, so the building mod that I ran. Okay, it's not like we're using them. We'll leave them when we do our root situation, but these are these. Okay, not like smart trip, don't get it. I have a thousand dollars of tools. I'll have a family bar. I will bring it back. That's two corners. I will bring it back. Because I have some family that I know. We will bring it back. Alright. See that? That works alright. I'm not. I did this. Get rid of that. Love the reaction mod. Structural Solutions was freaking massively clutch.
Yeah, see, that's alright. Bad idea. Square roll. So, where? Okay. Bye. Probably take out the other one. This one here. Yep, I'll take it. Shoot, boy. Good enough. Clear. Right, keep that square on grid. Square, so I'm going to use those foundations. This is why I love blueprints. That would line up with the outside edge.
there. Dutch is the best option. Time to get the space elevator. Be cool to get that moved. Build the space elevator. I hope that repositions. Otherwise, this is gonna suck. I think you've already uh, moved your space elevator. What you're saying. Yep, they just moved. That doesn't have an actual. They, they didn't bother to put a. Uh, piece on the bottom of it. Once again, it's not the right color. I wish they'd actually like your factory colors. This has to go on the factory grid. I don't mind this clipping through things, funny. Factory grid's up there. This guy's in here, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> I would say it's probably Twitch being Twitch. Just if I had to hazard a guess. Horizontally, it doesn't. Oh, no, eight times eight, Excuse me, I'll pack my holes back up. At some point, I gotta finish the floor in here. Oh, I was like, check on the doggos. There we go. Now I can get rid of that, that, and ta da. Go to the exit factory from the train floor. Feels like the hover pack's faster, too. And I think I want to do this blue ring all the way around the outside. That would be nudged up one. Can I nudge this up? Yeah.
No, that's not. Hey, yo, would you behave? Gonna be time to tell me to look right when it's done. Hold control and shift up one. Control up. Back again. Control up. Now I can do this, this. That, that one. Like that. I'm gonna do it, I might as well keep it consistent, right? I thought there was a spot where I had it, and it's really. If I stick to the barriers, I'll keep it near. She's done, chat. Probably the most artistic I've got with any single build. Now I'm gonna go up over here, where I don't have an advantage point in my factory. We're gonna see how it looks. Before, why she's dying. Alright, chat, this window. Not a bad work in progress, Jet. <laughs> that came out pretty good. Not bad for, for a squirrel. Not too bad for a squirrel. turns to power. Because if we're going to start building this factory, I need power. Because 9,000 watts. Where is my bonus power? Where is this power? So we didn't see what happened to that one. Join the 9K. Go through there. Go through here. Ha. 
Now we got our power boost back. There we go. All right, so we're at 10,450, but our max consumption is 9950. Granted, that includes all of the equipment we're going to be taking apart. Yeah, eventually, all this shit's coming out. But we're basically on our threshold. If I start producing in there, this ain't gonna do as much good. He's just gonna die. We need to find a spot to put the hub, too. I think I might do that out the north side. We'll have the space elevator out the south side double, and I'll repeat the opening in the south side out the north side of the base, and we can move the hub, the mam, and some of that stuff over there. That might be what we end up doing. I'll go to the north side of the base over here. That's right about here. And we can do something over there. With the hub. But I'll do that later. We need to turn towards this situation. The turbo fuel. And here's what I think what we're going to do. Let me grab some power poles. Right now I'm just going to come off the end of the space elevator area. So I can scout a path. My rail line. And we can start working on getting a... Alright, so the rail comes out here. We can come right through here. We can actually do like a straight shot south for the... And we'll come around the outside of this. What's in there? I wonder. Oh, you bastard. He got me. Just the yellow slug. Not really that great. through here, I'll curve it around the back of this, and the train tracks will curve right around here and head that direction, for their loop. But we'll have a station peel off right here, and put a station right in this area. That'll bring in three lines of sulfur, and hopefully each one can maintain 600 minutes. That'll be the 1800 we need for this. I just need to get 1800 back to there, and I've got one here that I can get back. This sulfur here I think is just an impure node, so that's not going to work, but there might still be a sulfur up there. The other, the other possibility is I bring in two lines, and hopefully there's something nearby I can build. We got a normal, we got a normal here, and a pure here. Let me mark those down quick. Alright, so we got a pure and a normal there. Hmm, that is a long ways to bring a belt in. But having those belted will allow me to bring one train in. I mean, eventually, once I get to the Mark 6 belts, those would handle this plan. That's right, I can bottom weave, I can bottom wave, where'd you blue come from? Come on, need the lady, I'll slap down on you. Here we go, one, two. Oh, four, and then I'm looking at one, two, three, four. This is not enough. There should be five. The geyser's there. If I do my heavy oil here and use all four nodes plus the geyser back there, convert all the heavy oil here, I can then shift it up, build out right here for the turbo blend. That's where I would need the sulfur at. So I can actually bring this train, the train line, through here and curve past that, allowing it to drop off a train track here, bringing the stuff from up north. We're still a long ways off from sulfur. I know there's a bunch of resources down here to boot. So if I bring the train down through here... <laughs> Aiming for down there, I can drop off a spot here, bring in sulfur, as well as bring back package turbo fuel. We're going to have plastic, we're going to have rubber, we're going to have cloth, all that shit's going to be coming out of here. So if I do plastic rubber cloth, there's sulfur in. I would need two train stations at least, because I also have this stuff, but this I'm going to bring a box right there. So we can bring in two sulfur and one turbo fuel back. And then I'd have another train station here, so two train depots would drop off right here. One of them would bring back the rubber, the plastic, and the um, cloth. We run the train down through here. I was supposed to be putting these things down as a uh, marker where the hell I was supposed to be going. You know what? I'm sitting here waffling about why don't I just start running the fucking track? <clears throat> now I can reuse the pillar base, the rounded pillar. I wonder how that would look. All right, before we start running our train track, because I don't have any of my train supports that I used to have. All of those are part of mods. I've got the base that I can use. Um, we have the, but the posts, the post top, the ramps. Those are those are garbage. They don't work anymore. So let's edit. Go blueprint. Go blueprint. Go blueprint. 
So I have this base. But I don't know if I like how that doesn't feel chunky enough. What I'm thinking is I do like this, this. And then I do something off the top of this that will make the tracks look good. Because there's nothing triangular to go off of these with. If I were trying to use these, there's nothing triangular. But I could do this. Spitballing here, so hold on. The idea would be that with like that, and then this idea I got from Zelda last night. Do one of these numbers. No, I like it better underneath. I do something like this maybe, so it looks like you've got the concrete in the middle, the frame on the outside. We do this pad up here. Inverted ramp, inverted ramp. Actually, that's not bad. Do that, the track goes up there. That's not actually how it's going, I just want to see the track sitting on it. I'm gonna need an actual blueprint machine. And we're gonna go architecture, pillar support. This, this, pretty funny ramp. Welcome back, Vito. Actually, 
I want some of this. Place that back. We need to uh, get forward. Uh, I am trying to make a. Oh, you dumbass. The train track talk. So I can start running the rail network. And I would need to configure the lights for this as I do it. The only problem is the train goes further than the lights, than the power does. <clears throat> I believe. It does not. So we would have to connect up lights, or the, uh, the power would be fine as it is. Sold on that. We only need one switch for like the whole line of lights. We only really need. Yeah. Well, yeah, in which case you would just set them per platform. I mean, I guess I could always. That off for a second. There, and that way you would you would hook this to this, you know, put those in a line, and then it would feed the lights themselves. So then you could set intensity, night mode, and color for tracks. So. Let's see, uh, that would be what that could be. Yeah, it only shows the bottom. All right, we need to go in here, blueprints, undefined. We're going to edit you, we'll go into building. You will go under there, apply changes. I'm going to need to make ramp ones and stuff like that eventually. But I think for right now, I'm not going to need anything that goes up, down, or otherwise. We're going to want this one, this one. Yeah. Oh, no, hold on a second. I also want 
In this one, we need rail. I need station. I want the locomotive and the freight car. We want path. Um, we have to put station seven. And then I want two meter foundation. Yeah, I was gonna do it there. That should do it. See, that's where it's gonna get awkward. It's gonna want to snap there, but it needs to be freaking. Good, freaking six meters below that. I'm using four meter foundations for this. Set the, the bottom of the. I don't know if any way to actually force it to go down so that the top of this becomes the actual. Yeah, I did beat up. So you go into your blueprints, hit edit. You gotta make a subcategory first, and then when you drag it over, you gotta come up here where it shows it orange, and then it'll let you drop it. Yeah, a little frustrating, but. So we're going to need power on this as well. How far can the uh, pole stretch? Eleven, and then we need to find one that goes... That's right, in order for this to work right, I need to do... Ow. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, we need to do this, this. Come on, come on. Let's see what I'm doing. We're gonna select uh, a color. We're gonna call this train or middle. We're going to go pillar. Put the icon, save. Let's make sure this is gonna work. Right, we want to make sure it's gonna work first. We want this one to be three here. Crap, what did I just knock out? The track. Come on, Wade. Ah. 
So we're looking good. I just need to change the transport base to match the new. Okay. I know it hasn't. Miller. Yeah, I've had the odd crash here and there. It's happened to me like twice. All right, question: Do we want to color this first, or do we want to add? Now is the time to do it before I get too far. That's unfortunate. Cross members. Making this, make the adjustments to the blueprints quick. Well, you know, we'll be on our way. I save that. Why are these back to being freaking? Let's go. The hydrate and a doggo. I don't have any dogs to be named yet. I'm still shy one. Cope. What would you like to name? <laughs> Uh, the words were hard. That's why we close up on the revenue base. There you go, damn. I have done everything but work on my actual factory until now. I mean, I am just now starting to work on my factory. Yeah, I'm just now starting to bring a train towards the base. <laughs> How bad is that, you bet? I mean, I did get that all put in, and that all put in today. Oh, and I did that. <laughs> and I guess you could call this fancy. I spent a few hours moving my, <laughs> moving this. I've got the power network set up in the base now. I fixed all my windows, so it's been a, it's been a one step forward, two steps backwards kind of day. Oh, got all our colors updated. But these are gonna be how I bring the belts up and down from the belt floor. This floor is gonna be smelting. One half will be like refineries, the other half will be smelters and forges. 
but those belts will serve to come up to this floor here. Before I go building this floor out, I'm actually going to uh, come up with a blueprint that will be the thickness of the floor with light spaced out underneath it, I think. I think I'm going to set it up for a 5x5 five five square with a light under with a uh, single small... Who's wants it? The thing. The billboard. But I'm going to mess around with that off screen. Off screen. For now we're rolling on this, so let's get going on this. Okay. You can line up, right? There you do. I should set that automatic in the uh, blueprint. My mouse. There we go. That's there. I need two of them. We need to go. Come on, Papu. Uh, let's see. Maybe they're going to be I think signups are due sometime soon. I don't know. I mean, I'm not playing the next scenario, so. They're pain in the ass. Why won't you go underneath? I, um, Evolution's Call or something like that? Hey, dummy, go to blueprint mode. Holy fuck, that makes a big difference. Shovel bus is real, motherfucker. Uh, I'm trying to keep policies. Yeah, I think it's evolution. No. Primal something or another, I think. Nice. That's fucking impressive stupidity right there. That looks like a smart car, too. That's super. Oh, super? Yeah, super. Yeah. Prime first, there you go. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, your, your server has to be um, in the right phase. You have to be in phase 5, I think, to sign up for phase 6. Or to sign up for the thing. thing. I gotta fix this shit. Three by three. Oh, no, don't you get a bitch. Uh, 
Yeah, it would start today. I guess, I don't know. For some reason, this isn't centered. There's a blueprint making it annoying. Haha! <laughs> Second! No potion now! Let's see if I can fix that. There's the light showing off center. It's still off center, I don't know why. Because of that, it throws this off. I gotta figure out why it's shifting that one off center. We're going somewhere, chat. We are going somewhere. It's not bad, Jet. Yeah, I surprise myself sometimes. Get back here. I can put my base in. Go away. I, I'm trying to call it just Sam. Strange alien, strange alien material. Probably a little high, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Edges. Mm 
like that, like that, so we can zip around. Da -da -da -da. Okay, corner, we go down six. Bottom one, grab our blueprints. Right there. Right there. This. So. Actually, I should have kept that straight, so we're gonna go straight now. I've been trying to just call it Sam, because it's technically strange alien material. So the devs have called it Sam. Right, not that goes. This is true, you know, that's why I just call it Sam. That's why I'm trying to hammer into my head, it's Sam, 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 Sam. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people will. For some time, you know what I mean? Start another curve. So now what I need to figure out is how I want to drop down below to go under for like a station. So I think I'm going to do that off stream, I'll figure that out. I have some ideas of how I want to work that out. So I might be able to, once I have like this done for example, take this out. Make it so it stops here, and then have one keep going forward. I'm gonna have to make another one of these. Okay. Yeah, I've got some ideas for how I'm gonna do that, I'll figure that out, and you guys will see it next time around. But essentially what I'll do is I'll create a transition. And then I'll have one of these that will go in conjunction with that, that will basically clip in and um, start the loop down with a support that I can create as a separate support, and then I can turn from there to go wherever I need to go with it. Yep. A lot of progress got done today, though. And hey, we're starting to run some railroad track chat. It's getting exciting. This is all lead up to our turbo fuel plant. That's going to be the next major milestone. And I will be updating my fuel blueprints. I still have those blueprints. I'll update those for 1.0. And then uh, when I've got that updated, I will put together a list for my blueprints on my Discord. But this look good, chat. Looking pretty snazzy. How's it going there, Becca? Finally got the handwork? Nice. Now I'm gonna have to start bringing like, all of this into the factory. Ooh, oh, excuse me. Oh, everything's tingly. I really hurt, everything's tingly. I avoid. You gonna come up to say hi to Mr. Vito? Come here, come here, Christian. Say hi to Vito. I'm gonna start a new game by figuring out where to start. Yep. Come here, Vito. 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 Come here, Vito.
is looking really good. This floor here is where I'm going to start to get really different with things and start having big glass uh, panes and stuff like that. That way you can start seeing into the factory itself. All right, Jeff. We're going to call it here. I'm going to have to fix my vlog for, the, uh, for YouTube. We're going to go raid out Mr. MBC. He's playing some, uh, some Satisfactory as well. Go see what he's up to. I'll get that raid kicked off. I want to say big thanks to Evil Reyes, 2022 farming guy for the raids earlier. Casanias, thank you very much for the follow. We'll catch you in a little bit. There's Elrayman on Hopple over your Discord here in a minute. I want you to chat. Um, but while I get this kicked off, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's coming out today. The support for Satisfactory has been amazing. I know I haven't really been doing much factory building, but uh, we're going to get into it. Now things are going to start rolling. And uh, I hope you all join me for it. If you haven't already hit that follow button, make sure you do so you can catch me next time. I'll be back again tomorrow. And uh, hope we'll catch you then. Till then, take care. Have yourself a great rest of your day. We'll see you all there.